Hello, I'm Peter Towers. Welcome to this week's edition of Accountants Minute. Our featured article, Keeping Good Talent, Your Practice's Greatest Risk. We've prepared this article based on information and commentary attributed to the ComBank Accounting Market Pulse report released in May, which indicated that the 45 accounting firms that they had surveyed for their report had indicated that their only limitation was the worsening talent shortage. Since that time, talent's situation in Australia for accountants and other businesses has worsened. Accountants Daily published an article uh, at the beginning of the year which indicated that 70% of employed accountants were looking around to see if there were better prospects elsewhere. Only a few weeks ago, the Tax Commissioner uh, poured cold water on the tax compliance industry and turned more than a few heads when he said, you must understand that if your business model is high volume, low margin, single tax returns, your business will not be viable in three to five years. In the ESS BizTools podcast that I conducted yesterday with uh, Jordan Lowry, Managing Director of Blackstone Business Services, Jordan, a very experienced human resources consultant, said, although salary is important to potential employees, primarily accountants, many are also interested in the culture of any new business they may be considering joining. We discuss all of these issues in this article. A few months ago, Australian accounting legend Andrew Geddes who also chaired top 200 ASX company Green Cross for 10 years, made some interesting comments about attracting and retaining young accountants. Andrew said that the partners of accountancy firms often complain that there are not enough accountants around, but Andrew disagrees. Could your firm implement some of the suggestions that Andrew Geddes made, which we've summarised in the article. We conclude this particular introductory article by referring to comments made by Adam Hale, the pioneer USA accountant, who faced up to the emerging problems in the USA similar to what we are now starting to see in Australia by developing the virtual chief financial officer services as a mainstream product for American SME operators to receive. These new services help Adam and other accountancy firms in the USA to overcome attraction and retention of talent issues within their firms. Could the same benefit accrue to your firm? If you click onto this article, you could be eligible to win a holiday package, four days and three nights, and we'll be drawing this week's winner on Wednesday the 12th of October at 9.30 a.m. AEST on a live feed to Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. You're most welcome to join us for that uh, for that draw at that time. Our featured product this week is our starter package, which is an ideal package for smaller accountants who are wanting to get involved in this broader range of professional services and to give yourself some protection against the issues that the Tax Commissioner was raising in his comments at a conference a few weeks ago. Accounting News includes a range of articles that we think might be of interest to accountants or to your SME clients, which I would suggest that you read and perhaps distribute some of them to your clients. The ESS Biz Tools podcast this week, which you can click onto and listen, as I indicated earlier, featured Jordan Lowry, the Managing Director 
of Blackstone Business Services. Our latest social media posts are also available for you to click on, to read and to listen to the videos. We also give you advance notice on our next free webinar, which uh, is available for you to attend. If you want to know more, please uh, click on to our websites or send me an email, peter at essbiztools.com.au or telephone 1-800-232-088. I hope you have a great uh, weekend and uh, that the forthcoming week is uh, interesting and challenging for you. Stay safe. Have a great day. Goodbye.